show that d on dx tan x is equal to sec squared x using the quotient rule. Well, I think it'll be easier to start here. Let y be equal to tan x. And then what we need to find is dy on dx. That'll make our setting out a little simpler. And I've been told to use the quotient rule, and the quotient rule is specifically designed to differentiate fractions of functions. So I would need to write tan x as a fraction in order to use the quotient rule, and that's okay because tan x is a fraction. It's sin x on cos x. And now I can use the quotient rule. So dy on dx is equal to so the quotient rule says the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom. all over the bottom squared. Okay, let's figure out what each of these are. d on dx of sine x is cos x. And also d on dx of cos x is minus sin x. And I haven't changed the bottom line. Alright, so the top would be cos squared x minus sin x times minus sin x would be plus sin squared x all on cos squared x. And cos squared x plus sine squared x is 1. 1 over cos squared x. And 1 over cos is sec. So 1 over cos squared is sec squared. And that's the end of the problem. I've showed that d on dx of tan x is sec squared x using the quotient rule.